On behalf of heaven, the majesty proclaims, it is heard that benevolent governing centralizes the well-being of people. Righteous forces originally aimed at terminating tyranny. Be reminded of the history of our country that with a truly independent and unique civilization, mountains and rivers distinguish our territory. Traditions tell apart the north and the south. Since the reigns of Du, Lin, Li, and Chen, who constructed our nation, there had been Han, Tang, Song, and Yun dynasties, who together with ours imperialized the two lands independently. Even though the two of power varied differently across time, they have never liked heroes. Therefore, Carbages Liu Gong was defeated. Arrogant Zhao Xie was terminated. Tuolutu was captured in Han the Gate. Wu Ma was killed in Badang River. Reveal the whole history. Evidences are returned clearly. Recently, exploiting the confusion of whole families of government, which reduced loyalty among people, hostile Ming invaded and slaughtered our people. Sinful gangs betrayed the country for their avarice. Burning our people on brutal flame, burying our infants in dark abyss. To see heaven and mislead human, myriad wicked conspiracies were created. To enforce colony and escalate hatred, twenty years were full of violence. For righteousness and compassion were overthrown. The universe seemed to stop breathing. For exactions and tax were oppressive. Even mountains and water had nothing left. Mining gold for them, our civilians lie down forever in poisonous white forests. Collecting pearl for them. Our residents bury themselves in sea monsters of stormage. To capture rare animals. Traps were set too dense that the poor could not call. To gather precious resources. Nests were thrown across the land till the environment got exhausted. No form of lies is kept, even insects and plants. No mercy was shown, even to the miserable widows. Their food and drink were made by the blood of life. Their shelter and dress were made by the sweet of nature. Overburdened unpaid labor were imposed from all level of political units. No weaving looms stand even in the most rural village. How filthy! Their smell is uncleanable even by all the water of our East Sea. How evil! Their sins cannot be fully recorded even by all the bamboos in the southern land. Both God and human share this rage. Both heaven and earth cannot tolerate. I set my first step in Lamshun, consumed my patriotic force in the wilderness. Constantly reminded myself of my country's burden. 
permanently pledged to abolish the enemy's domination, tolerated agony in heart and anguish in head for over ten years, slept on brushwood and tasted gall for not just a day. Had my determination replaced my food whenever plans and strategies are discussed, has no time to eat. Reviewed history and analyzed the current situation to carefully examine every step. No detail should be ignored. Took independence reestablishment as my vision. Could not forget even in sleeps and dreams. When the flag of righteousness was firstly raised up, the enemies were very powerful. However, talented were lacked like autumn leaves. Brilliant were scarce like dawn stars. Challenging tasks were conducted within a small group. Dangerous situations were dealt without much support. Because the concern for my people always urged me to move forward, the horse wagon on my left were often reserved for wise companions. Yet, the talented searching progress was irregular. I was like a lonely voyager looking toward the sea horizon. Then I myself proactively and faithfully took the highest responsibility in an emergency as if rescuing drowning victim. For ruthless invader had yet to be wiped out, for peace had yet to be reestablished in my country. There were times in Mount Ling without supplies for weeks. There were times in district going without any troop. Those might be how heaven tempered me to be worthy for the prestigious mission. That was my self-encouragement to overcome challenges. Lifting the bamboo on high, making flag. Peasants and slaves gathered to follow me from all reasons. Mixing liquor with stream water, serving companions. Fathers and sons joined my army for only one goal. Weak, bit strong by searching floors to attack. Few confront many by setting ambushes cleverly.